Before a scenario begins, you are provided with some patient information that includes a picture of the patient, the setting of the scenario, and a brief history of the patient's medical background. This appears on the patient monitor. If you cannot see all of the information in this window, use your finger to scroll up or down as you would using a mouse. When the scenario begins, this patient information goes away. You can bring up the patient information at any time during the scenario. Simply touch the patient's name that is located on the monitor. What is left showing are vital signs that are relevant to the scenario. Some vital signs will be turned on for you. Others you will have to either touch the parameter on the screen to activate its reading or physically attach a tool, such as a pulse oximeter, to the patient in order to initiate the reading. It is recommended that you view the patient monitor at the beginning of the scenario to determine what is required of you. Some scenarios will have lab reports, x-rays, and other forms of media. You have access to these by asking the operator to provide them to you. The labs will appear on the patient monitor. When you are finished with the lab, touch the X in the upper corner of the lab window to get back to the patient's vital signs. You can easily recall a lab by either asking the operator for it or navigating through the menu located on the bottom of the patient monitor.